Hey guys, I am Jeff with Two Moves Design, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about buying versus building a workbench, the current workbenches we have in our shop, and how we went about solving this dilemma. Hopefully this video will help you make that future workbench decision a little bit easier. And of course, my biggest concern of all was cost. Especially with lumber prices today, I think a lot of these options are a lot more cost effective than I imagined. So stick around and thank you like what we got for you. So I've been thinking a lot about this topic lately. We built this shop about two years ago and I simply brought all of our old crappy benches from the basement shop into our new shop and I've yet to build new ones. And I think as a woodworker, it's more of a pride thing on why it took me so long to decide whether I was gonna build or buy workbenches. And as a maker, I feel almost obligated to build these workbenches. Well, I still don't have any nice workbenches and the issue is I need three workbenches and I just don't have time to build all three benches. I'll for sure make a nice outfit table the one I'm currently using is my old finishing table, which is probably the first bench I ever even made. I've used this since we started the business, and when it finally came time to bring it out to the new shop, I quickly replaced it with these two bore tables that collapse and fold up, which are great, and I highly recommend these as well. I believe they range between $60 to $100. Now back to the Alfie table. Just look at the layers of finish on this old table. It's for sure over a quarter inch of just old finishes and now wood glue. The work surface is awful, and the worst part is I already have the melamine and the plywood to make this nice outfit table with storage. So hopefully that'll be a video in the near future. When we moved to the shop, I did make two benches. This is more of a desk though. This doesn't really get used for building anything, but this smaller accessory table that rolls around does get used a ton. And this is great, and it has a melamine top as well. I also need to replace this crappy bench back there, and that'll get replaced one day too. So I went ahead and got two of these Craig Universal benches that come in pieces, one for a sanding table and one for an accessory table to manage all my small tools. So this is the main table we're replacing. This is the table we use for everything. We do all the sanding here, assembly here. So this is the main priority that needs to get replaced. And then the second table we need is just kind of an accessory table to hold our small tools and kind of just organize this disaster of an area. It'll give me another work surface and just another place to work on small items. Right away when I discovered these, I kind of knew these were the answer. It would be quick and easy to assemble, it wasn't overly expensive, and all I really needed was a top and lower shelf. After looking on the internet for a little bit, the Craig system seemed to be by far the best option, and there really wasn't much else. I did stumble on these plastic corner things that you kind of screw wood into. They look okay, but I still need to buy a bunch of 2x4s, and they don't look that good in my opinion. So let's get started and putting this thing together and dive more into this topic. For a little more, the Craig system looks way better. So that's just what I went with, but these are also an option. I'll link all this stuff down below so you can make the decision yourself. So the overall assembly of this thing was pretty painless. I mean, it comes with instructions, but you just pretty much tighten everything down, make sure it's square, and then just move along and assemble everything. So I went ahead and got wheels. You don't have to get wheels, they're just gonna add to the cost. The bench does come with adjustable non-slip feet, but I like the option to be able to move the bench around. All right, so I'll give you guys a quick preview of the parts we have for this bench. They offer several different sizes for this. I wish they had a little more variety of sizing, but it is what it is. So we have one set of these 64 inch rails. And then the side rails we used were 28 inch, and then we used the 31 inch legs. Other than the stuff I just mentioned, you're gonna have to buy a top and a lower shelf. I used what I already had laying around. I bought these two pieces of poplar for a workbench top two years ago, so these didn't cost me anything. I mean, they did two years ago, but you could easily use plywood or anything like that. But with the price of plywood, I'm sure glad I already had wood on hand. But you could also use like a melamine top. Melamine is wonderful because glue and stuff doesn't stick to it and it scrapes off nice and easy. But let's move on to the next step. Since these pieces are so wide, I'm simply gonna joint one edge, cut one edge off a little bit, and then just glue them together and cut them to final size later. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of an overhang here because I want to add a vise. I don't know how much I'm gonna use yet, so I'm just gonna leave it long and then cut it to size once I get everything glued up. I also looked into buying a full complete workbench, but it wasn't really an option as they are pretty expensive, but they're not really as bad as I thought. I couldn't really find one in the dimensions I wanted or fit my price point. Really though, if you look at these pre-made benches on Rockler, they cost anywhere from $300 to $3,500, which really isn't that bad considering the price of all the hardwood and a vise. You may get lucky and find a decent sized Husky brand bench or something similar on clearance at like Home Depot, which I've occasionally seen. And if you look at some of these, 
They also aren't priced that bad either. They lack a lower shelf for storage, but overall they're pretty affordable for what you get. I personally don't know, but I'm assuming they require some sort of assembly as well, unless you get some type of floor model. All right, so back to assembling the crank bench. We're just gonna throw the top on here and then cut this thing to actual length. And then figure out how we're gonna attach the vise to this thing. So I ended up kind of just gluing this plate on here. This is just a piece of scrap poplar, just so that the vise kind of lines up perfectly with the top and some glue and screws is all I really did. I'll trim the top of the vise a little bit later, but for now we're just gonna get this thing sanded so I can apply some finish. I honestly don't think it really matters what finish you use. Whatever finish you have around is plenty enough. All you'd want is that you put some sort of finish on there so paint and glue and stuff like that doesn't soak in and ruin your top. It's gonna get messed up and dinged up so it doesn't really matter what it looks like because it's gonna look like crap in the near future anyway. So just use up whatever finish you have laying around. All we're doing is making it easier to clean in the future. So I just put two coats of poly on this because that's what I had. I don't really wanna build up a film because I'm probably gonna sand it later anyways. A simple wax would work just fine too. So now we're just gonna line this thing up and attach this top, just using screws here, quick and easy, nothing fancy. So now we're gonna attach this Pony Jorkus and Vice. Pony is one of our sponsors, so I did not pay for this, they sent me this. But it, overall, it seems great. I've never owned one of these before in the past, but it seems very well built, easy to attach, and I really look forward to using this thing in the future. And I use a lot of pine with our Etsy order, so that's all I use for the lower shelf. I just glued up some pine, ran it through the drum sander twice, put two coats of poly on it, and boom, I have a lower shelf. So this 100% depends on the individual. If you're new to woodworking, I'd probably recommend that you just go buy the lumber and build a bench, because then you get to improve your skills and you get to be super proud that you made this bench. And then there's people like me. I woodwork every single day, so the last thing I really want to do is just sit out here and just build a basic workbench. That just doesn't really excite me anymore. I do want to build a traditional workbench one day. That is something that does excite me, along with the nice outfit table, because that's so specific. I will make a video on both of the things when they do come up and comes time to do that. But for now, the Craig benches are great. I have no complaints. They are perfect for my needs. It took me longer to make the top and lower shelf than it did to put together the benches in general. Them benches would cost you probably $200 in parts to do all that, and then you'd need to do some sort of top. You could buy plywood or just glue together pieces like I did. So again, it really depends on the person. Some people have more time than money. Others have more money than time. And let me know down below, do you guys like to build your workbenches or do you kind of do something similar to the route I went? Um, this was just kind of a video of me just kind of thinking through the process of how I went about getting benches and just show you guys the options that I saw when I was looking for a new bench. But I'm always open to video suggestions. Let me know down below in the comments and I hope you all have a wonderful day.